just a heads up, unless something happens, we are going to have another newsletter next week. And that's just what we have, ladies and gentlemen. Another briefing from Muddy or Not. This one is Briefing 49, Dealership Redux. Oh, dealership is getting redone? Nice. Let's go ahead and hop into it. It starts off with saying, uh, Attention officers, welcome to our 49th edition of our mostly bi-weekly newsletter. This week we'll be showing off an in-depth first look at the facelift of one of our classic maps, Dealership. Developers and artists have been working very hard towards this update and are excited to showcase exciting changes and additions. This is only one of the planned refreshes of classic Ready or Not maps coming down the pipeline to utilize advances in our team's capabilities better, as well as our improved lighting systems. All of the techniques we have learned will be applied to our legacy levels in the coming updates. Cool. I mean, they have a lot of levels. They've even taken out like a lot of levels from the previous update, like um, the lobby level in Winterly Hills Hotel, a couple of levels from Port Hoken, I believe. So it's interesting to see what those are going to look like whenever they come out. But anyways, a new classic. A noticeable upgrade that should come as a welcome addition to veteran players is the refurbished layout of the dealership to make it less confusing as a whole and flow for the better. I don't know if I really found it confusing. I just thought that it was a bit big, like bigger than it needed to be because you kind of get to like a specific spot and you're just kind of like walking around at that point, like at the very front. But anyways, the improved layouts allowed the expansion to blend much better with the more familiar architecture, such as new street access that goes around the dealership and some of the surrounding buildings. We got a first picture here. This is of the cars that are in the spot that you normally go in from on the left side there. First thing to note, a lot of the cars that are here don't look as good as I remember. Like I remember there being like a bunch more trucks and modern looking vehicles. Like now they kind of just look like jalopy type vehicles. They really did revamp this area. Like there used to be like a whole thing that would have lights going across, I think. If I remember correctly. I think I might do like a side by side comparison here. They definitely changed out a lot of the really nice looking cars. And uh, yeah, underneath this it says, the renovated front of the dealership features is a much more dense and dangerous landscape. Yeah, they definitely changed that up a lot. It looks relatively the same size, but I think there's actually an opening at the bottom right here. I don't remember that being there. But yeah, it definitely looks more run down i guess but moving on here we got another picture of the interior and they're working on taxis does this dealership run a taxi company this is definitely interesting I'm not really sure what i saw here before i have to like go back and look to see what this area looked like or maybe this is new i don't know i think it's the russians that are here that are working on these vehicles right i could be wrong but i remember them sounding russian in the game but underneath this it says the new garage is much more populated with little greebles and sign of life something that the rest of the level will also share greebles what the hell is a greeble a small piece of detailing added to break up the surface of an object and added visual interest, particularly in movie and special effects. Oh, I've never heard that before. Interesting. But moving on here. The new corners of the map will hold more lore for both the immediate situation and the city of Lasunas itself, as we strive to make everything seem more alive. The decay running through the city will be much more visible, and the crimes of traffickers will be much more evident. Also, I kind of wanted to mention that this picture kind of looks like something out of Swamp 4. I wonder if it's inspired by it. Hmm. But anyways, up next we have another picture here. I'm not really sure where this is. I think this is actually on the street that you can't really go to, I don't think. Like the dealership might be over here and we come out to the street to walk over here. Unless this is a different area that we start. I'm not sure what this is. I am genuinely confused. But underneath this it says, The rot that fills the city becomes more evident by the day. So is this like a new spawning area? I don't remember this one. But anyways, moving on here. We hope that with the refresh of one of our classic maps, that our players will be more excited for both what is coming and what sort of improvements that we will be implementing going forward. Let's hope so. In conclusion, that concludes was our 49th briefing be sure to tune in next time for development news so this was again another relatively short one but to extend the video i do actually have a bit of news so ready or not ended up dropping another dev blog there have been a couple more that kind of hinted at this next dev blog but i'll go ahead and show off this first one here we got the emergency exit plan for the 12th floor i'm pretty sure this is the penthouse map In case of emergency do not use the elevators use the exit stairs but yeah this is definitely the penthouse. At least that's what it looks like. But the reason why they posted this probably is because they hinted at this next video here, which we will play for you now. Ooh, 
is this the beginning of our planning phase we're gonna deep dive into that in just a bit but first before we do that we need to look at this map here because let's see here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen. Whereas in the game, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So 14 compared to 17, so we're getting an extra three. So what maps could they be? Well, I have a couple in mind. I think this one is definitely fast food. Although I did see somewhere that they said that they wouldn't drop it until 1.0 came out, which apparently they want to drop it this year, if I remember hearing that right. Like full on game, which I don't know if that's a good idea considering how much I think they need to do, but it's whatever, I guess. But another map that could be in here is that Coyote map that they uh, teased. It's probably this one that's over here. If I had to guess another mission could be the swatting streamer mission that may or may not have been confirmed in the data center mission which might have been confirmed on reddit Could definitely be one of those but i guess we'll just have to wait and see so there's definitely new missions coming with this next update so let's go ahead and push on to the nitty gritty here so it looks like we're going to be able to look at our phones when it comes to the planning phase stuff so he goes up to the map it's on for you gas station there doesn't seem to be anything that's new about that as far as i can tell it all looks the same and you see it go up on the screen right there and it looks like he pulls his phone out is it like attached to his chest that's interesting kind of like a thing i have no idea but it looks like we got our map here it's basically like the layout of the gas station but it's not exactly showing like the main details of what it looks like on the inside which that's the one thing that i really liked about swap 4 is that you know they give you like the general sense of what the map is going to be like and the funny thing is is that they show like just a piece of toilet paper or or like a, a notebook that has like drawings of what the layout of the map they think they it is it's not it's not concrete of what it actually looks like but it gives you the general sense of what it's going to be now my only issue with this is that it's probably only going to spawn us in like one spot i kind of hope that they make it so that we're able to spawn in multiple locations maybe this is what the one two three four is and where we want to spawn and go that'd be kind of cool we got six prompts here we got a message up here which i'm not really sure what that could possibly be maybe someone's talking in chat and we got uh navigation i assume maybe stuff that we could put on the map i don't know but this is the map the briefing phase the roster so he clicks on the briefing seems like stuff that we've already kind of seen before like this is just always on the board i like how it actually shows the objectives here in order to chaos rescue all the civilians simple stuff the mission briefing suspects Ooh, i would love to see that but he doesn't click on that unfortunately then we got the media here which i assume is what people think of the situation or maybe just the media talking about it maybe give us a little bit of backstory that's something that's fought forehead which was kind of cool i'd like to see some audio recordings and stuff but nothing too crazy going on here i would have loved to have seen what this is losuto swinton Toes, police department SWAT, law enforcement sensitive. We got the roster here, which shows probably what everybody looks like, most likely. But this is all pretty cool. I just want to see what all this other stuff is, you know? Because I've already seen all this, you know? Not on the phone here, but, you know, just out in the game. Like, if I looked up at this screen that's right here, it has the same information, you know? But it's definitely cool. That's pretty much all I already got to talk to you guys about this. What does it say right here? Can't tell what that says. It's upside down, it looks like. But it looks like one of those bulletproof phones or something. Is this how they're going to get us to, like, get by cosmetics customize the freaking outskirts of the phone make it pink and anime colored or something but anyways that's pretty much all i really got to say about this it's pretty cool uh, i really want to see what all this what all this other stuff is and uh yeah be sure to subscribe like the video and do all that other jazz and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye